This is my studio where I spend most of my days. Um, it's truly my favorite place. It has a large wall for creating bigger paintings and uh, I also work on the easel and I often have two or three or more paintings going at one time. The studio has a small loft upstairs which serves as both a library and storage space. I never seem to have enough of that. One of the most important spots is this chair where I spend a lot of time just sitting, looking at the painting, judging its progress, and I try and let the work tell me where it wants to go. Uh, I do have to share custody of the chair with my cat though. This is basically a sequel to the first short video I produced in December of 2010 when I was preparing for a show um, in Dallas at the Craighead Green Gallery. It was an interesting experience. I didn't have a clue what I was doing. It was a little embarrassing and awkward, but um, it gave me a chance to reflect on my process, my inspirations, uh, my influences, but mostly it had an amazing outcome. I connected with so many people around the world that I never would have heard from otherwise. I received emails and phone calls that were very inspirational and made me realize how grateful I was to be painting every day and enjoying it more and more. continues to be influenced by nature, um, but more recently I've realized that I'm interested in trying to incorporate or interpret um, sounds from nature into my work uh, to somehow visually represent what I'm hearing from my studio, whether it's the wind or the birds or the leaves falling from the trees. Um, I'm constantly surrounded by those sounds. I live in a a rural area. It's very quiet uh, most of the time and that's uh, been something uh, that's been really uh, working its way into my paintings lately um, because in art I guess just as in nature or in life nothing stays the same. Everything's constantly morphing and changing and I love that and I like to um, imagine that my work um, embodies some of that movement.